Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new series that I would like to call Opening Moves. That uh, name is still up for debate. I haven't decided if I really like it. Don't know why I didn't really show the intro, but here we go. This is the intro to Diablo. After this, I'll explain what this uh, series is really going to be about. But for now, just sit back, relax, kick off your shoes, and enjoy the cinematic that really creeped me out as a child. Oh, that's an eyeball. Oh, that's an eyeball, and it's squirming like a fish. Lovely. I'm sure everybody here is absolutely fine. This is just the intro to, uh, ooh, maybe not fine. But this is just intro to, uh, King Arthur, Sword in the Stone, right? Right? Yeah, look at that. Maybe it's the Master Sword. Maybe this is some sort of weird Zelda-esque game. That's got dungeons. <laughs> I really love these old cinematics with the... I mean, now it's bad CG, but then it's cutting edge. Look at that. If you were wearing 3D glasses, it'd be like he was coming right out at you from the screen. Back in... What was this, 1995, 1996? Anyway. We're gonna jump right into single player. Uh, I'm not gonna use Nigel, Harold... Or Sophie, we're gonna go with a new hero, because that's just how it works around here. So we could go Nigel, Warrior, Rogue, or Sorcerer. <laughs> I'm using something that resizes the window, so it screws up the menus a little bit. We're gonna go with this full, 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 full speed. We're gonna go with Warrior. And, again, excuse the graphical glitches. Can't really do anything about them at this point. What am I going to name him? Gerald. Want to go for a name of power? You go for Gerald. That is by far the manliest name I can think of, which is why I don't have it. <laughs> anyway, again, I want to give you a nice warm welcome to a new series called Opening Moves and to a new game of Diablo. My name is Alex. And I will be bringing you through this first episode, and the last episode, because paired with this video will be a video called Closing Moves. Again, the title may change in the future. Also, we're going to run right to this guy, because there's something I want to get Please, through to in this video. Listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avengers, find this butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. So yeah, if you don't go right to the to the uh, church entrance at the beginning of the game, you'll miss this guy, and you won't get the uh, butcher boss that you'll will be seeing hopefully at the end of this video. Hopefully, not really sure yet. I'm playing with a lot of new things here, and we're gonna see how this this works because. The idea of opening moves is every game that's going to be in this series is one that I have started and I have never finished. That's right, I've been playing this game since I was about, I want to say like eight, when my cousin first showed it Hello, to me. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, Kane, it's nice to hear your voice again. Oh, just tell me some town gossip, how about... I'm really the in the mood for that. Word is a frightening and tragic one. He, he is a frightening boy or man and man child. into the labyrinth by the small foul demons that wield wicked spears. 
There were many other children taken that day, including the son of King Leoric. The knights of the palace went below, but never returned. The blacksmith found the boy, but only after the foul beast had begun to torture him for their sadistic pleasures. So the second video, um, paired with each opening video, hopefully at a later point, is going to be closing moves, where I finish the game for the first time on screen. It's going to be pretty sweet, am I right? I've absolutely nobody's ever finished these games before. Can a fellow drink in peace? Let's talk to Varnum the Drunk. He's one of my favorites. He's actually one of the people that's seen the butcher, so let's ask him about that. Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him. Had to run away. Couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. <laughs> he is a regular Oscar Wilde right there. Fun, fun fact, I name all of my servers Farnham after him, so, don't know why, I'm just, he's, he's a character I kind of like. What ails you, my friend? Yeah, this is Pepin, he's kind of boring. He's just While like, hey, I use some limited forms I'm the of healer. Magic to create the potions and elixirs I store here. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Uh, we'll talk to you later when we actually need some healing. Uh, might as well do the rounds since I'm only ha already halfway turned. through. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Whoa, whoa, Many whoa. Cut down where they Dark stood. Riders. And those who took up arms this is Diablo, not Lord of the Rings. To become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Oh, really? Thank well, let's speak again, turned. Ogden. Much no, you're going to tell us the same thing. Okay. Whoa, what can I do for you? Ah, oh, Griswold, my other favorite character in this place, because the only other person that actually gives me shit that I need. Ah, uh, we're not really kitted out, are we? So if you've never played Diablo 1, but you've played Whoa, Diablo 2, Diablo you? 3... Torchlight, Torchlight 2, uh, Path of Exile, and any other number of clones. I believe there were action RPGs before Diablo, but it was really the one that popularized the genre. Really got it down to an art form. And why not? I mean, the visuals are great for the time. Sense a soul in search of nice and dark. This is Adria. We're going to buy potions from her, scrolls from her, sell all of our magic stuff that we don't have the magic to use because we're a warrior. Uh, she's the villain of three. Don't tell anybody. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's not. That, three is not that great of a game, so it's not that big of a deal. Disappointment. Because again, Diablo 2 I love. Diablo 3... It's an okay one. Not my favorite. This one, even though I've never beaten it, is still my favorite because it has the best atmosphere, I think. Good day. How is may I Gilly serve and the you? Barmaid. I don't think we actually Cain ever. Cain has been the storyteller of Tristram for as long as I can remember. He knows so much and can tell you just about anything. I don't think there's anything that Jillian can actually do for us this entire game. But, you know, you gotta have a. Some English, Scottish, Welsh town. You gotta have a barmaid. And last but not least, in our motley crew, we're going to meet Wirt, the peg-legged boy. We're not gonna do much with Wirt, because he exacts a hefty toll. Psst, over here. Um... No, I'm not gonna look at what you have, because I know it's gonna be more than 50 gold. I know more than you think about that grizzly fiend. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection. <laughs> if that was done in a lower register, that would be absolutely ridiculous, that last sentence. But I have to check Wirt's voice actor because he sounds 
suspiciously like the same voice, voice actor that did uh, Laharl from Disgaea and the English Nauta from uh, Fooly Tooly. You know what? Let's check out what he has. Bow of Piercing. Pfft. For 1950, I don't think so, you highway robber. Anyway, let's actually go into the dungeon and start killing some monsters. Because this game isn't all about just hanging out in town, chatting up the barmaid, picking on little kids who've lost their legs and all their friends. No, it's about more. Much more. Anyway, get back to the business at hand. No, I already explained the ending moves. Your death will be avenged. Maybe. <laughs> so. The sanctity this... of this place has been fouled. Oh boy. Ah, there we go, our first skeleton. Well, in this series. Again, I've been playing this game for... Ooh, I'm almost 24. That means I've been doing it almost 12 years now. And again, never gotten past the caves. Level 5, I think. It's the one right after that, when you finally get to, uh... The villain himself, Diablo, Lord of Terror. So I'm not... I haven't... I've put some thought into how I'm gonna be doing this series. But at this point, I'm still experimenting, see, as, seeing how I want to do it. It may not be a, uh... Standard way that I'm gonna put out these videos. I may, uh... Jump around do some cutting, sort of, uh, a la Nerd Cubed, keeping the funny bits, ditch the rest. I may do sort of like I'm doing now and just keep in a bunch of stuff, but, uh, you know what, after a while, I may just cut to a further point in this one because, much as I like Diablo 1, if you're not playing it, it is a bit, uh, it is a bit boring. Because I'm doing a lot of this. Look at this. Tables and... Tables and... And menus and... Fun stuff, isn't it? <laughs> it is fun. The, at the atmosphere in this one makes it a lot more fun than the other ones. I'm always on edge in this one as compared to... Well, Diablo 2 I'm not really on edge because I know that game so well that I'm... Most of it's not a challenge anymore. This one is still a challenge. Even one of these scavengers, if you're not doing well. Any one of these enemies could be a hassle. And we haven't even met any of the magic ones yet. Now those guys... Those guys will give you something else. The other thing, if you'll notice, when I hover over every enemy, it gives me a readout in the bottom middle. Something that it doesn't... Well, it gives you a readout for what the enemy's called in the later Diablos. But if you keep an eye on that, you'll notice something different if you've played the other games. Something which, personally, I think that was a nice little touch that they lost in further installments, because as we keep killing these guys, it's going to tell us how many average hit points they have, what they're immune to, what they're weak against. Actually, I don't think it tells us what they're weak against, but what they're resistant to. Because resistant to. I don't think any enemies are actually weak against anything. But, I mean, if you use, I think, lightning against the flying bat guys, they won't take as much damage. Because they cast electricity at you, so that makes sense by Pokemon terms that they wouldn't take as much damage from electricity. Right? Right? So how elements work in every RPG-ish game. By Pokemon rules. <laughs> I don't think Pokemon was even out at this point. Anyway, we leveled up, so I might as well use that. Man, I have not forgotten to level up since I have played Torchlight 2. If you've never played Torchlight 2, go check that out. That's a great game. And it's not actually that expensive, so... I don't think so. You know what? I might as well just recommend my favorite, my personal favorite action RPGs right now. Because, heaven knows, I've played a lot of them. I've played a lot, like, number-wise, and I've played a lot hours-wise as well. So, yeah. This one, if you can stand the graphics, I know it's not the prettiest thing right now, because everybody's moved on to... 
that, uh, that, <laughs> that made up tart Diablo 3. I, I don't, almost don't want to say that, but I might as well because I'm building up to it anyway. Anyway, everybody's moved on to Diablo 3. So this looks, this pales in comparison. I still like how it, how dark it is, but, and how grimy it looks because Diablo 3 looks really just clean. It doesn't feel like you're fighting evil, it just feels like you're fighting... Well, it feels more like you're fighting a corporate evil. <laughs> what Blizzard has turned into, rather than just a nameless evil that pervades all the land around you, like this one feels. You don't feel like going through every barrel in this one, because it doesn't feel like you're going to get the same rewards. I'm not going to get a scroll of identity by breaking a barrel, I'm going to get like a hundred gold. But I need that 100 gold in Diablo 3. I don't need that 100 gold as much in here. Sure to start off with, but once we get going, nah, I'll be fine. So you can skip this one. This one's really boring. You go down to the bottom, you find Diablo there, you fight him, and the very beginning of Diablo 2 spoils it for you. The guy you're playing right now, well, he basically becomes Diablo in human form. So, yeah, there you go. Besides, the game's old, so it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, first sort of upgrade. I mean, this is almost gone. Oh, by the way, the the other thing that I kind of like: once you, once a piece of armor or weapon is destroyed, and I might be wrong about this. I, I seem to remember it the way I'm remembering it, though. Of course, I remember it the way I'm remembering it. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense to say otherwise. If I'm remembering correctly, when you your armor reaches zero durability, that's it. There's no way to repair it. It just goes away, which I quite like. Adds that one little... It's, it's the little things with this game that really make it stand out and still make it a fun thing to play, even today. It's why I like uh, Path of Exile so much, actually. It feels a lot like this game. You don't feel super powerful like you, you kind of did. Well, you definitely do in Diablo 3, and you kind of do at the end of Diablo 2, especially if you're doing uh, the Bail Act, Act 5. Uh, what is it? Lord of Destruction, the, that expansion pack. Ah, oh, we can't do any of this magic yet. You got you to, right away, you got to start working on your magic, because it is useful. What do we have? Do we have healing? Holy Bolt, Charge Bolt, we have healing. That's what I'm getting for it right away, because you can spend all the money you want on healing. Items, potions, and stuff like that. If you get healing as one of the as a spell book, you're fine. <laughs> You'll last as long as you need, so long as you take your time. That's the other thing. I keep forgetting how How it has some revolutionary things in it for action RPG even now. You can pick up spell books, and as long as you have the requisite attributes, anybody can learn them. All right, see, now we're seeing, starting to see some of the stuff down below. Like it said skeletons, immune to magic. Here we go. Oh no, not skeleton captain. I think they're just regular skeletons. We'll see them. Ah, there we go. No magic resistance for the scavengers. But yeah, it's it's still got things that are, I'm gonna say, still kind of revolutionary because um, the way the spells work in this, sort of the same way that the spells work in uh, in uh, what's it called, uh, Path of Exile, because you, anybody can learn any spell. Now, to to a certain point, you, you, again, you have to have the attributes for it. But uh, the way spells work in that are. You have gems that you socket into your items, and that's how you that's how you learn skills, spells, anything. Anybody can learn any skill, any spell. There we go. We just learned uh, holy bolt, holy bolt, and healing. So quite handy. Actually, you know what? We've got a scroll of identify. Let's identify these rags. Wasn't really worth it. Thorns. Ugh. Oh no, I don't want to go yet. Mm, actually, it's a good idea to keep saving. Because if you do die, you go back to your last save. There's no, uh... There's no respawning 
or anything like that. It's, well, it's, you can respawn, but only from your save, so it's sort of a... a medium well. <laughs> a medium hardcore. None of this respawning in town or anything like that. But anyway, to get back to Path of Exile... The, uh, the leveling up is not done the same either. You have, I think you still level up your attribute. No, your attributes level up automatically, but you can buff them. Because it gives you basically the, was it the jobs list from, uh... Final Fan- no, it's, it's basically like the, uh, the level up in Final Fantasy X, where you have the, the huge... ...amount of choices that you can make with everybody's level up. <laughs> I'm trying to. Th I'll put, throw up a chart if I can. If I can remember. Um, and those of you who play Final Fantasy X, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll put I a side-by-side -side comparison or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, we already got another book of healing. Fantastic. Seven out of six. Uh, you one more armor. I'll keep you and get rid of this. There's no real need to keep any of these. Honestly, we're gonna get more through just picking up gold than selling off stuff, unless it's magic. Oh. Yeah, see? Look at this. Seven gold pieces, nine gold pieces. Man, if I found that many gold pieces during any day, I could quit my job. It's just not the same. Everybody's... Everybody's already wasted all the adventuring, so I, I had to go to college. I couldn't do any of this. Really is a shame, because I had my hopes up when I was eight and playing this. I'd just be able to just trek through here. By the way, did I say the fir did I say that the first time I played this game, I was eight? Man, what a way to screw up a child. <laughs> it was my uh, cousin who was about, I want to say like 15, maybe a little older. I don't really know how old he is compared to me. Yeah, maybe, yeah, he must have been 15. Something like that. He's got a few kids. He's married at this point, so... I'm gonna say it's probably 30. 32, maybe. So maybe, like, 17. But, uh, yeah. It was all hunky-dory until, uh, we got to that, uh, boss I'm telling you about, the Butcher. Because, uh, well, he really deserves his name. We've already heard from Barnum, or Barnum, Jesus. <laughs> Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> We've already heard from Farnum about how, uh, now there were bodies hanging from the wall and everything, and just how terrible it was. Yeah, it was pretty terrible when I was a, an eight-year-old as well. I could not play this game for years, just because I was so freaked out by when I first saw that room he's in. Now I've got to get that far, at least, because I've talked it up so much. <laughs> uh, I tell you, though, that butcher used to give me nightmares. Maybe that's why I don't dream anymore. Well, I mean, I dream. I get snatches here and there. Maybe that's why I don't remember any of them. They're just, uh, part of me still repressing that, uh, those earlier dreams. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, are we? Yeah, we are. Okay, we were able to pick, pick it up. Alright. We're gonna have to go back to town soon. First, we get a. Uh, we don't have run in this one, unfortunately, so we've got to make our way all the way back. <laughs> uh, it was nice too. This it hasn't. First of all, you had fantastic music that was kind of slow, but the pacing was also slow. So you never. I don't know. It's something I don't really enjoy about newer games. There's never any pacing. It's always just go, 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 go. It's never a time to just slow down and uh, enjoy yourself. I mean, there are some games, of course, but... I guess that's why I like uh, Path of Exile so much, because it, is, it does feel much slower. Um, speaking of which, let's move on with the... Uh, let's move on with the recommendations. If you've never really... If you've never really gone into the action RPG, RPG genre. Here you go. Torchlight 1? I never actually beat. It's probably going to make its 
way on to this show eventually. I'm not gonna do, uh... Can't... <gasps> we can go in there, okay. I don't remember actually going in here. Oh, the poison water supply, that's right. Oh man, it's been so long since I've gotten this quest, because usually you can't go... There aren't secret rooms like this. I mean, there are a couple. Like, uh, the bone chamber... Other places that I can't think of right now. Uh, but usually it's just, uh... No, it's just... You, you go through, go down the level until you find Diablo, you beat him. That's it. Anyway, Torchlight like 1, never actually beaten. I've played it. I, I kind of like it. It, it would have done much better with a uh, multiplayer option, because it felt a lot like Diablo 2 style gameplay, but it was very much Diablo 1 that you were going down a central location, just keep going down floors. There's a dungeon in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker I'm trying to think of that has the same feel to it. But, uh, yeah. So, um, but this game will have a side quest like this. They, they'll, not, they'll not really be announced. You can kind of, you can go back to the Oh jeez, this guy's giving me a run for my money. See, that's why, I, that's why I, I love this game. That guy could have taken me out if I wasn't careful. But I'm on top of things. And it's not like he's the only one either. It's not like he's a mini-boss. This is a normal enemy I'm going to be seeing in here. Of course, I was stupid. I spent all my stuff on magic. So I'm going to have trouble with these guys. I had to think ahead. I didn't think I'd be seeing these guys right away. But, um... Yeah, you, these quests aren't really announced, you just kind of find them on your own. Sometimes if you go I back to town... Some of this stuff. Yeah, sounds like Duke Nukem when he says that. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that short bow. Uh... Don't need that. Oh. We already lost our uh, other armor. Can get rid of that. Do we have? Yeah, we got a scroll of identity. One to four. Nah, we'll stay with the. Uh, we'll stay with the saber for now, or whatever it was. But um, you just kind of you can go. I think you can go back to base for some of these, but I think this one you just find it, and you're like, hey, I noticed that the. Uh, I noticed the water supply was kind of rotten looking in town, and I'll help him out, you know, because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Torchlight 2, I highly recommend. It was already a fantastic game when I first played it. Uh, it actually has a modding com community that they've added some fantastic mods to the game that just really opens it up. Adds a lot more options for how you can play it. Uh, it feels a lot like Diablo 2. It's just more bright, a more cartoony atmosphere. It feels like Diablo 2 with a World of Warcraft aesthetic. So, I mean, if you like that, go right ahead. I mean, I, I much prefer this, prefer this more uh, gritty, realistic feel that... Uh, this game, Diablo 1, and to a certain extent, Diablo 3 had. But I enjoyed Torchlight 2 just as much as the other guy. It felt a little easy, but, you know, the, it's, got a, it's got a good end game, an infinite dungeon and whatnot, whatnot that you can just play through. And The end is really hard, actually. That's one of the big complaints I have about it. Um, Compared to the rest of the game, the last half of the... Are there only four acts? I think there are only four acts. The last half of the third act and most of the fourth act feel really hard. Especially because the boss of the fourth act does not really match the difficulty that the rest of the act has. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, I think this might actually be one of the quests where we do have to go back to town, because we have to, uh, I think, talk to Kane, and he'll give us something to put in the water supply. 
Because you'll notice he was the one uh, standing by the uh, nasty looking water fountain. A <laughs> water fountain. Water bubbler. So I'm going to run back to town quick. I'll be back in just a minute. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to skip ahead to when I get down to the butcher's level. And I'm going to see you guys in just a little bit when I get th back there. Um, as far as the other action RPGs that I've been giving recommendations and whatnot, let me know if I've forgotten a few uh, any crucial ones. Those are the big ones that come to mind because those were the big ones for me. Um, I mean, those were the really big ones. I know, I know I'm probably missing a couple that I've tried out over the over the, the years, but just give me a shout if I if I forgot anything. So Alright, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oh, before we skip ahead, you'll notice that the fountain is now blue. We we fixed the fountain. I think we actually need to talk to Pepin about What's that. What's that you say? The mere presence of yeah, the there you has go. caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. And if I remember correctly, this ring is actually kind of crap. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about this. The game does not actually tell you, Hello, like, just tell friend. you what a, uh, a, while and a reward item does. Um, I'm gonna use Kane because it's it's cheaper to use him than uh, using Identity Scroll because those are kind of hard to come by. Actually, no, the Ring of Truth is quite a good. Uh, that's a, that's actually a really good item. I forgot about that. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm on the Butcher level. See you in a bit. So, I forgot to mention one of the uh, <laughs> one of the uh, other complaints I have about this game is that it can be kind of difficult to fight more than one enemy, as you can see right here. Trust me, it was worse just to cut, like a minute ago. So you you end you end up later on you find. You basically find places, uh... Oh, we don't have enough to use that. I bike. can't use this... yet. Cocky bastard. I can't use this... yet. Uh, you, you wind up finding uh, strategies to take care of a uh, large amount of monsters. The one I usually use is duck into a doorway, take care of them one by one. You don't do it as much with the uh, the wizard or sorcerer, I can't remember what he's called. Um, just because he can take care of more guys at once. Uh, use the cape, that's more armor. The rogue is not as big of an issue either because she can... She's usually... you're usually using a bow with her, so she can take out enemies from a distance. So they don't usually get up close and personal like they do with the... With the warrior, uh, there was original. There was originally there was supposed to be a uh, two other classes that were added in the Hellfire expansion of Diablo as well: uh, the monk and the barbarian. They never got added. They never were released. Uh, there is a way to use them by editing some of the code in like the INI files or something like that. I don't know. I've never done it. Never really interested me because then like. That's not really part of the game. Because they never really put it in. I think... I think they're finished. Just they never got put in for whatever reason. So... Or maybe they are just added for, uh... They might just be added for... For Hellfire. If you know more, let me know in the comments, because... I can't remember, and I'm not going to look it up in the middle of a video, because that's not how you do things. <laughs> it's not how I do things. Ooh. Cool, when that runs out, we've got a wide assortment of fashion choices that we can... that we can wear fashion choices. We can go, uh... down whichever route we choose. <laughs> so you might wonder why, uh... The video is back, and we're not fighting the butcher. Well, this 
Turns out the second level actually was the butcher's level. So, there you go. I'm gonna clear out the rest of this level and we'll go try to fight him. Problem is, if you've seen me fighting the other guys, when you're fighting a, a guy that's quite stronger than you, well, they kind of can interrupt your attack pretty easily. Okay, we're not having as much pro as many problems with these guys as we were before. So, it, yeah, it kind of gets hard to fight some bosses. The Butcher especially, because he's such an early boss. I think you're actually supposed to go down a few more levels and then come back and fight him. But I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to fight him now. You know? Put in all this work. I've heard plenty of stories about this Butcher guy. I want to fight him now. We will. <laughs> we will. Probably won't survive. That's one of the other, uh... Big, uh... I don't want to say, uh... That's one of the big advantages you have with the, using either the rogue or the sorcerer as well. You have ranged attacks. I had a bow earlier. I sold it so I could get some more stuff. But, uh... They can actually, you see these grated walls, like, right next to me. They can actually shoot through those. The sorcerer can use his spells through it. The rogue can shoot her bow through it. I mean, we could get a bow and shoot through it, too, but... Once you do that, the... The, the butcher's easy. He just becomes a, it just becomes a matter of just clicking on him a bunch of times. Until he dies. No, we're gonna be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. The worst idea possible. Because if you do not have good armor, a good weapon, and your wits about you, what am I talking about? Your wits about you, you pretty much click until he dies or you die. Too much baggage. Ooh, but that's a good item actually. Too Adria much the Witch will actually buy that for quite a bit if I remember. Well, let's see. It's a good staff of telekinesis. 27 charges? Yeah, she'll buy that for quite a bit. Over 500, I believe. So, um... What was I getting at? So yeah, if you don't have... Oh, it's a cave. Cool. We might actually have good armor now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, it's ar Oh, it's armor one. Oh, that's worst. That's the worst. I don't know how we got an armor five cape and an armor one cape. What does the armor one have, like, lead sewn into it or something? <laughs> Just metal plates in the in the cape. Your cape flows in the wind, hits someone in the face. <laughs> anyway, we'll we'll be going toe to toe with the butcher, which is pretty much suicide in this game. Later bosses, sure thing, we can do that, no problem. We'll be getting plenty of stuff that helps us out quite a bit. We'll actually be getting something from the butcher. Quite a uh, good item that would help us out with a later boss, King Leoric. But, um... This first guy, it's pretty much touch and go. That's why I'm going through systematically, hoping that there's something, something will draw. But it doesn't look like it. Alright. That's half the level gone. <laughs> That's the other reason why he still holds such a uh, dear place in my mind, because he is still one of the hardest bosses I've ever fought. And every time I'm able to beat him with this guy, when I'm not using tricks, every time I, I manage to beat him, it still astounds me because, I mean, it's not an easy feat. I'm hoping, hoping, really hoping we get at least a single more level up. That's not good. We're going. We're, we're low on uh, armor and weapon durability. Um, we're, we're getting there. We're getting close. Unfortunately, doesn't look like it'll be close enough. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. All right, we got a robe. Let's see. How much?
much armor. I need six, maybe. All right. It's gonna make the area around us a little darker, but I think we can live with that for the bonus that it's gonna give us. The edge up, if you will. <laughs> I'm really starting to get nervous, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, put on a show. Cucrat the Unclean, Too though. Too much baggage. Maybe we got that one thing that I was looking for. Get out of here. Let's see what... Do I have another... I do, okay. Plus six to magic doesn't really do much, but it's a projectile weapon, so... Worst comes to worse, and always use that. So anyway, how about you guys? What are your experiences with the Diablo games? Action RPGs in general? I mean, most of the uh, top-down action RPGs usually follow the Diablo model, or usually uh, heavily influenced by it, so... Maybe you have only played a Diablo game. I don't even know how many more are out there. If, like, I know, uh... What is it? Uh, don't remember the game. It's a game where your, your game basically evolves as you go through it from a 2D... RPG game. Magical Shrine and Religious Shrine. I don't remember what these do. They, they have set things, but... I think... I don't remember what that does. I think that lowers my mana and raises my life. Oh, no. Oh, that's right! That gives me basically a mana shield. Uh, I have a buffer now, so my health doesn't get damaged until they go through my mana. Ooh, that is a good one, actually. Cannot diminish the power of steel. I think that one is actually harmful. I think that lowers my durability. No, it repaired my durability. Good. Good. All right, I'm gonna up my dexterity. That'll actually help me hit the guy. And we can use the scimitar for Felshin as a problem. But we don't have enough dexterity for the bow. Shoot. Let me go back and see if I can grab that. See if I can grab that hunter's bow. See if that'll be useful. I'm planning ahead. This is not something I usually do with these games. At least not this one. No, same thing. And that's not worth enough money for us. I don't remember how long this uh, mana shield lasts, so I'm going to top off my mana. And you know what? Let's go for it. We've been... We've been uh, tiptoeing around him long enough. Let's actually take it on the Butcher. Well, once we take care of these guys. So yeah, you see that room right there? This is the room that gave me nightmares all those years ago. And you can believe me when I'm, I say I'm going to save first. Oh boy, am I going to save first. And put in these potions because I'm going to need them. Alright. Ah, fresh meat. Again, stuff of nightmares. See, he can interrupt you. He just interrupted. I hit him once. Look at, look at that. That is ridiculous. I can't even get a single hit on him. Okay, two hits. But no, this guy is terrible because if you don't, oh, I'm barely hit. I'm barely taking doing any damage to the guy. In just a second, I'm gonna have to turn tail and run from him, hoping to get enough. No, I did not need. I wanted the, 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 I wanted the scroll of healing, but it didn't work while I was moving. I do not need a skeleton to interfere right now. 
Take out him at least. Oh my the god, I got the dead are now avenged. I cannot believe that, actually. I've had so much pro so much trouble with him in the past. I can't believe that I was able to take him out. Anyway. <laughs> Look at this room. I'm actually gonna take off my cloak so you can see it in all its glory. This is the room that gave me nightmares as an eight-year-old child until I was maybe like 14. Not that scary, not today. But back then, this room was hellish. <laughs> and with that, I will bid you all a good night. Because this is where opening moves for Diablo 1 ends. And I will join you in the future for a little thing called closing moves. And hopefully, it will be with the warrior Gerald as well. Where we take on Diablo and finally, finally beat this game. My name is Alex, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>